A lot of people take the brush tool for granted, or they think it's for graphic designers or painters, when actually being able to control the brush size and shape um, is integral to cloning tools, healing tools, and as you've seen, also the layer mask. So photographers really need to know how to operate the brush tool. One of the first things you want to know is where the brush is, which is right over here in the toolbox. Um, not to be confused with the history brush, which is two steps down. Um, underneath the brush are several other tools. We're going to be using just the basic brush. And the shortcut is the letter B. And I think that's a really good shortcut to remember because we use the brush quite a bit. Um, controlling the size and feather or hardness of the brush um, is located in, a, in at least five different places. And so I want to show you from basic to the newest and then you can decide which ones you want to use. Up here in the options bar for the brush, there's a really basic, basic palette and this controls the diameter in pixels and keep in mind that depending on your resolution your brush size will vary so in other words if I had a really low resolution image a 473 pixel brush would be gigantic whereas if I had a 1200 DPI image um, that would be a tiny brush so it is relative to your image resolution and then the hardness of the brush is like a feathered brush versus a very precise brush so let's start out with a hundred percent hardness on the brush and I am painting over here with um with the foreground color which is black so I'm going to just make a strike across here and that shows you the brush with 100% hardness and now I'm going to switch it down to let's say 10% and do the same thing and you can see how different those are. So depending on what kind of um, uh, brushing or, or healing or masking that you're doing you have to choose what type of feathering you want and also brush size. Now this menu up here I think is really clunky but there's several other things that are important up here in the options menu. Um, the blending mode which for now we're just going to use in a normal mode later we'll work with blending modes and the opacity of the brush which basically controls what percentage of the color you're using will be laid down. So let's go to 50% um, here and when I brush across you can see that's 50% of black and then I'll go down to something lower 6% and I don't know if you can see that but I'm putting down a 6% stroke of black. So those are the various um, uses of opacity, feathering, hardness of the brush. Over here is the flow of the brush and this is mostly for an airbrush kind of effect. Probably in photography that's not used as much. It, that does get used more for drawing of shapes so um, we, we usually keep that at 100% but the opacity is going to make a huge difference in how a lot of your tools work. So this menu right here, once you get used to it, this is probably my least favorite menu. That same menu can be reached by just right clicking and then you're able to change the diameter of the brush and change the hardness of the brush. Plus there's a million different types of brushes too. I mean this is just tip of the iceberg. There are sub menus upon some sub menus in terms of brush styles. But again when we're doing healing and masking we want a pretty simple brush. So I'm going to hit the return or enter button to get rid of this panel. And I want to talk about some other shortcuts too because if you're going back and forth with a, ma a mask or a spot healing brush the last thing you want to do is have to come 
up here to a menu or to keep right clicking and so I want to show you a couple keyboard shortcuts let me get rid of all those stripes okay there we go our beautiful brush tool um, one that I use all the time are are the bracket keys and so let me go back on the background so I can paint the bracket keys are located right on your keyboard just to the right of the letter P and your right bracket which looks like this um, and I'm going to hit it right now and as I tap that bracket key it grows the brush to a bigger size and then the left bracket key this little one over here let me turn up my opacity um, as I tap that one down it shrinks the brush so this is smaller size now I'm hitting the right bracket shrinking it down with the left bracket to me that is the most useful shortcut for the brushes so let me clean that up so these two brackets right here left and right this grows your brush this shrinks the brush I think those are really helpful in terms of um, sort of sizing on the fly because let's say you're masking and you wanted to come into a small area here then you would zoom way in and shrink that brush down so that you can paint way in here and then as you move out and I'm hitting the bracket key you could then work with a larger brush somehow I see people with these really teeny tiny brushes painting and painting to try and mask something so that's no good